Hey guys, how's it going? Blaine here, aka Thrifty Fishing, playing a little bit of Collective. Um, and uh, today I'm playing my my Baluk. Uh, I guess it's kind of a control deck. It's kind of a token in a control deck, which is kind of weird. But um, I'm trying to decide if I want to keep any of this. I'm gonna keep this little guy just so I have a guaranteed third turn if I happen to draw all really high cost cards, since that's the lowest thing that I have. And look, there it is, that all high cost card. That's a very sad start. We're playing against Nick here, so maybe we can show up developer Nick here and just uh, just just straight up destroy him. See what the turn two coming down is. So we both passed for the first two turns. That's pretty funny. Um, but we're getting to it quick. He's going for the lucrative expedition, gaining that one XP and that one card this turn for that early level up. But I'll be right behind him next turn. So I'm going to have initiative, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to preemptively uh, smack this Cassiel down because I'm worried that a buff might be coming in and I just want her to not be alive any longer. Wow, he's, just, he's ramping up quick with the experience there, trying to level up as fast as possible. Luckily, starting next turn, I can start getting in some some levels with this bad boy here. Actually, I can start getting some experience this turn, but next turn I can bump him up to two attack, and he'll get the help of the Spider Kingdom, so he'll be pretty hard to destroy. I also get to give him an extra attack with Enkindler, so that's nice as well. We'll go ahead and grab some drawer here. So... What we're going to do is play Spider Kingdom. I'm going to buff him and buff him. Now, he does have um, initiative, so we could get screwed here if he decides to target that, but hopefully not. Alright, so that's a pretty good play for us now. We're going to be gaining crazy against attacking this guy. Um... go ahead and grab back this card so crab lets you grab that top card in your discard um, and then we're also gonna play here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do lucrative expedition go ahead and draw level up then we're gonna get even more XP from this guy it's gonna be a good time Hey, look, there's our other expedition. So like I said, we're going to attack this guy, because at this point we are leveling up crazy fast. Um, I'm not going to block this. I want to keep this buff up for when I play my other spiders, so I'll just take that to the face. I'm going to go ahead and take Ambitious, because if we can keep leveling up, it'll be just crazy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buff him again. And I'm going to summon a bunch of blockers and go ahead and grab, grab this card draw off of a Spadrar here. Uh, there he is. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one again. That hitbox can be a little tricky sometimes. Oh, no. So he just, uh, he played Who, a card that he created. Look at Nick drafting his own cards, which destroys all copies of a card. And so he destroyed our, um, and it doesn't destroy it, actually. It removes it from the game. So he just removed all of the little, the little exemplar spiders from the game. So total sadness. There's the block coming down. Summoning that would give me a nice board, but at this point in the game, I'm kind of worried about board clears. So I'm just going to go ahead and destroy him. 
play another lucrative. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to do. He's playing Gift of Peace, so no attacks this turn, so that's kind of crappy, but you got to do what you got to do. He's killing off our uh, Spider Kingdom over here. That adds another ace in the hole to his hand anytime you kill something with that. Okay, he leveled up, so he gets his Cassiel back. I don't have a direct way to kill her at the moment. And I really don't want a Cataclysm just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and drop Spooky, which is going to give all these deadly. And um, I'm going to go ahead and throw down this Adventurer as well, because I doubt he's going to board clear everything with uh, his Cassiel up. So we'll see what happens. All right, so he's got an unblockable first night now. And then he's got a Corpse Eater here. You already trying to get this level up as quickly as possible. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and play Fluffiest Boy. get that ward in my hand so I can protect something. Probably going to protect either Spooky or Ambitious, but it's a while before I level up again, so I'm probably going to protect Spooky just because I have a glider in my hand. And that Ace and Hole has been some value for him this game. That's three of those he's got to play. Ah, oh, I forgot about the Duelist. So, probably going to protect my uh, Ambitious. Uh, instead of that, since it's dead. Wow, he's got this little blockable 7 6. That's nuts. Um, well, I'm going to attack him. Now it's kind of a help race. I'm not sure what this guy does. Let's see. Give units blocking or attacking this minus 2. So he's choosing to go for the block here. Let's see. I guess we'll take Reassembling Skeleton. Go ahead and uh, just destroy that. I'm going to give our... Actually, I'm going to give my Kakul Ward here. And uh, go face with his ability. I think I'm probably going to win either way unless he pulls out a... Heck of a board clear. Oh, well, he might just heal up with the angel as well. Also a choice. Oh, and he got Michael Cool before the ward went down, so that's sadness. Probably gonna block the ambitious just to stop it from getting the XP. Yeah. That would drop his attack to one. I'm gonna go a little bit slow on what I play this turn. I'm actually not gonna play anything. Um, and I'm going to try to get a block off on one of these here. That way I can do an off initiative cataclysm next turn. And just wipe whatever he's playing. God, this ace in the hole, man, has been the bane of my existence. Alright, so I'm not going to attack. 
with anything. And now I'm coming in with the Cataclysm. Then I'll drop my Goat Rabbit. And summon these guys. Not play anything. That Cataclysm prediction. What a play. I'm going to go ahead and grab that Cataclysm back with Crab, just because that'll be funny. Um, then I'll have three. Let's see, we're already ramping that health back up. We're at 29 now. He's down at nine cards, though, so... Unless he pulls on something crazy. I'm going to go ahead and Fallen Star this, that way I'll hit anything that he summons, and summon these Spider Gliders in case he food carts a bunch of attackers. But he's just healing back up. Because of this level up, we're going to have an insanely big board next turn, so if he doesn't have a board there, that'll pretty much solidify our world. Like a, a Splash Cataclysm would be insane on that. Luckily, we can take this and give something rebound. I'm trying to decide what I might want to keep. Um, Oh, and it gets flying, which doesn't really matter because he's got those two, I guess. But I'm going to grab this crab just in case. All right, let's see what he's got for us in store. Hopefully nothing. Come on, Nick. Don't keep me waiting. If he's got some crazy food cart lethal right now that that gets past four, no, not even four, like eight blockers, I'm going to lose it. There's no way. There is simply no way. Ah, and the concede comes down. Um, I'm going to throw most of this away. I'm definitely keeping Spadrar, um, which is weird because I thought I had 40 cards when I queued up. Let's see here. I guess I did not, though. So There we go. Well, thanks for uh, sticking around, guys. I'll see you again next time.